Hello everyone, Perlin here coming at you from Headland, Windy Headland on Newcastle Beach. And today I want to talk about the idea of travel and how travel can um, expand your circle of influence and your mind and expand how you perceive the world uh, because you're pushing your comfort zone. When you're at home and you're doing your day-to-day -day practice, you think the same thoughts and you have the same actions and you do the same activities day after day um, and usually it's about 95% of people they, they think the same thoughts, they do the same activities, they are surrounded by the same type of people. So it's hard to expand when you're taking the same actions and you're thinking the same thoughts day in and day out because all of the external influences and activities around you are the same. 95% of people do the same thing every single day, they have the same thoughts and so they get the same results every day. And so if you want change or you want something different, you need to change the things you're doing, thinking or you know, your general environment to create that change. And the best way that I've found to create this change is through traveling. When you're traveling, you get forced into different situations where like you get thrown in the deep end type thing and you've got to meet new people and you've got to, you know, so say like you miss the train and then you've got to ask somebody to read the train menu out because it's in a different language to find out when the next train is and then you've got to, you know, get on the right platform and then you've got to catch the new train to the city and you get there, at, you know, at night type thing, you've got to find a cafe that's open so you can get on, you know, you can you can find some internet so you can find a hostel online and then you got to get to the hostel and then you got to you know find some food afterwards and so you're constantly put in these different situations where you have to figure it out uh, swim or sink style sink or swim style and there's nobody there to like hold your hand or say it's going to be all right because you know you're on the road and you're by yourself and you need to you know you need to get somewhere and you have to make it happen and so you get forced into these situations where you have to grow, you have to push your comfort zone and get outside what you normally think and survive, basically. Also on the road, you meet lots of like cool, interesting people and you're having different, um, you know, different meals and you're having, meeting new cool people that have a different perspective on life or on a certain type of thing like, you know, travel or relationships or, um, you know, working and you, you, you've never thought of it that way before. And you think of it and you, you talk to them and you're like, wow, I never thought of that. Um, and you might meet someone else and they have a different perspective from that last person. So then you, have, you get more and more perspectives on life or of different areas of life which you've never even thought about before. And it makes you go through your ideas and your beliefs and say to yourself, you know, is that correct? How did I learn that? Is that just what I learned from my parents or is it the people I hang around? Um, do I agree with these you know, thoughts about certain areas um, or do I want to change it? Because all of these different areas that I've now exposed to, they all seem, they all work to achieve the same result, but there's a different path to get there. So it's very good to travel and to try and get as much travel as you can. And if, you don't, if you're not in the position to travel, I would recommend you get in a position to travel basically. You, you need to travel or you need to at least push your comfort zone when you're at home to meet new people or like you know walk a different way to work or go to a different area, go to a different bar for drinks or you know experience some new activity in your city that you've never you've never experienced before or go to some new new sightseeing thing somewhere nearby just so you can expand your circle of influence um, that's coming into your mind and you can expand you know, what you believe and the different things that will help you grow in life. And travel is the best way that I've found to do this. So I highly recommend that you try and develop your life so you have the ability to travel. So the hardest thing about travel is to actually get on the road. Once you're on the road, your motivation will kick in, your inspiration will kick in, you'll meet all of these cool new people and be in all these different situations and you'll just start loving it and getting this uh, the travel bug and you'll be addicted to it and you'll want new experiences and new this and you'll expand your comfort zone and your circle of influence and your knowledge of the world dramatically 
when you're traveling as opposed to staying at home and doing the same things that you've always done. Every time that I've traveled, my ideas about the world have expanded dramatically. So whenever I'm sitting around doing the same thing day in, day out, I get into like a scarcity mentality and I'm like, oh, you know, I don't really want to do this and don't really want to do that. And I start getting lethargic and complacent with life, which, you know, can be depressing if you do it long enough. And doing something different and travel is constantly different every single place you go to, it expands you out and you get snapped out of the day-to-day -day routine of doing the same thing day in and day out and you get to experience all of these new things with you know almost like a childlike mind because you know you get it's snapped out of this this new day-to-day -day routine so you can't go through an autopilot you can't go through like a zombie through day anymore because you have to pay full focus and attention on what you're doing because you've never done it before you have no reference of how to act in these you know in this country or this circum situation or like you know with this random per new person that you met you don't know how to to act with them because you've never met them before so you have to be very focused um, on what you're doing every single day which brings you into the moment and brings you into uh, the enjoyment of life because you're like on edge because you haven't done it and you're a little bit scared but you're a little bit excited and then once you've done it you have this feeling of like um, accomplishment and joy for life so that's really really good so I highly recommend travel it's got a lot of benefits so that's it that's how you can increase your awesomeness in life basically is to travel and have a good time so yeah highly recommend travel i'll talk to you soon